are going to be different. Why not do your first hit differently? Chance for to kick things off. And Shivers from a yard deep is going to bring it out with a bolt pass to 25 and all the way to the 34-yard line. It's a loud crowd of 17,000-plus. Hacker or a nickel. On second and 10, Nix will keep it around the end, and he gets falling forward for an Auburn first down. Kelvin Joseph with the stop, a gain of 11. He did that, but he handed it off anyway. Let's see how long it takes to where he tests that knee out. He wants to throw on first down this time. This is Josh Ali, and they snuff out the screen. No gain. Blitz coming up the middle. Going to the screen again. And Ali springs free and breaks it to the outside. Josh Ali against the blitz is able to pick up 22 and a Kentucky first down. Smoke down the line and Cavassier smoke inside the five and inside the pylon. A 35-yard touchdown run and Kentucky's on the board early. Short to the right or a run, excuse me, pass short to the left or a run to the right. Auburn linebackers bumped over to the four receiver side, left a gap over the right guard. Chance for to kick off. Tank Bigsby will bring it out of the end zone. Bigsby out to the 20. And another big return for Auburn past the 30. Can't see him over the offensive line, and that gets him a head start. Fort Lauderdale native out of Shamanan Madan. Almost got tripped up on the edge, stayed on his feet, and he's wow. motoring his way to the 43. What a run and a first down. On play action, Nicks over the middle, caught in an Auburn first down. Call this Auburn offense already looks different. Big 89, J.J. Pegues in at tight end. They go behind him. He's out to block at 300 pounds, and he springs Anthony Schwartz. Just outside the goal line, a gain of 22. Pegues still in on the right side. He was a Wildcat quarterback in high school. They go straight ahead, and D.J. Williams plunges in. Nick's going for two, and he finds a tight end, Shanker. Tom, the swinging gate. We used to practice this all the time. Toss Rodriguez is blown up. Pressure from the edge. Wilson steps up. And he'll scramble forward for the Kentucky first down. Play clock at five. To the slant. It is incomplete. Knocked away by the Tigers. Christian Tutt. Swinging gate. Polecat. I feel like everybody <laughs> ran that in ninth grade. Here's Cavassier Smoke. He's already had one big run today. And he's finally forced out of bounds by Sherwood. Ole Miss down a touchdown, but driving there. Here, Terry Wilson going deep down the sideline. Wide open for a Kentucky first down is Josh Ali. May not have been down on the first hit. Looked like he kept his balance. Here's second and 24. Wilson taken down. Terry Wilson dropped by Daquan Newkirk. Auburn shows pressure from the edge again. Third and forever. In route, knocked incomplete. Great coverage on the back end by Jalen Simpson. Nix pulls it back. Not going to try to scramble with it. He can tuck it, but he has nowhere to go. Jamin Davis with the stop. Every second of that play clock. With one tick left, they get the snap away. Wilson over the middle. Caught! First down, Kentucky in a sprint. Daly caught from behind and a Kentucky first down with 2.10 to go. It goes for 39 yards. 11th play of the drive. Wilson looking to throw into the end zone. It is intercepted by Auburn. Kentucky gets no points. McCreary's got the sideline 
And what a turn of events. Terry Wilson can't bring him down. 100-yard interception return for a touchdown for Roger McCreary. Wow. It was summer, a lot of Zoom meetings. I mean, mentally they were prepared, but physical mistakes happen when you're going full speed. You expect to see some of that week one. A.J. Rose sees nothing. It's a loss of two on first down. Colby Wooden took him down. Don't get in their own way. And they are solid. Knicks. First down and more for Auburn on the completion to Seth Williams. And it looks like Bo Nix is going to pooch another one. <laughs> He'll take his time to do so. He'll allow the coverage team a run down there. And what a that. fantastic play. Eli Stove downs it inside the two. 40-yard punt. To see a little bit more of it. Find Anthony Schwartz. Nix off his back foot, lobs it, and hauls it in to Seth Williams. Gain of 25. Nix pressured, steps up from the pressure, got a blocker in front. And that'll get him a couple more yards. Nick Brahms was leaking downfield. It's a gain of 13. They're one of five on third down. First third down this drive. Nick's back foot. In zone. Touchdown, Seth Williams. 6-3, and he went up to get it. An absolute dime. Williams, who's 6-3, 210, throws this on a rope. Only where his guy can get it in between two defenders. That is a big time. Auburn on the run before the snap. Out to Rose. He's wide open. And A.J. Rose takes it inside the 20. They bring the backers. It is caught. Touchdown, Kentucky. Eight-yard strike to Akeem Hayes. They're going to go for two. Habit of changing every time, but then you're giving the offense an advantage. Right there, they saw pressure. I thought Auburn might check out of it and drop back. They don't. This time I saw a team actually execute the throw off of that. Uh -oh. Ball got on the ground on the snap, and Kentucky comes up with a huge play from Josh Pascal. It's a loss of nine. Yeah, they're going. They should go zone right. Wilson's going to take it himself. Needs five, lost the football, scooped up by Auburn, and the Tigers with the takeaway. It's Sherwood from his safety spot. Fade. Caught. Seth Williams can go get it, and that time it goes over the top of Joseph. Last lap to the receiver. Tigers wasted no time. Knicks hooks up with Williams for the second time today, and Auburn has an advantage. On third and five to the slam, batted away. Great coverage in the back end by Roger McCreary, who had the pick six waved off due to the targeting late in the second quarter. Nick stands tall down the sideline again. This time it's Eli Stove and another touchdown for Bo Nix. And Stove pulled a bow in the kingdom and just kept running right into the tunnel. Bo Nix in the air for the third time today. All right, Peter, thanks. Auburn with a short field, each of their last two possession, taking advantage to increase this lead. Zach Johnson to the 20, 25, and bought down Johnson from the one -yard line. at the 29-yard line, 8-11 to go. Wilson, pocket collapses, and they take him down. He's a trailblazer in this industry, in this sport, as Gus Malzahn was. You always think, and you always should think, that you can do it the best. A first and 12 to the screen. Demarcus Harris, five, and the ball came loose. Auburn says they got it. Did Papo come away with it? He did. Auburn with another takeaway. It's the third time they've taken it away from Kentucky this half. Yeah, these type of wins, they may be a little bit ugly, but in a 10-game All-SEC season, 
you'll take these every day of the week. I mean, these are the type of wins that the best teams are going to have to get week in and week out in this 10-week drive. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.